you ever had a hollow feeling in your heart about the futility of life? Have you ever asked yourself, why am I here? Who brought me here? Could life be better? What happens when I die? Get answers to these questions in the latest book by Kakra Baden titled, The Invitation. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order the Invitation at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra has been sharing an exciting series titled, The Blood of Jesus, under the subtitle, The Blood of the Covenant. Yesterday, we learned that covenants are signed with blood in the spirit realm. Let's join him as he continues. The devil signs contracts. But the thing about the devil is that when he signs a contract with you, he doesn't let you read a contract. He just shows you the nice parts of the contract. And then you sign. But when you sign, the Bible says that everything looks good in the short run. So Proverbs 16 verse 25 it says, There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. But what you don't know is that at the end of the contract, there are certain clauses which he doesn't show you. And those clauses are actually the clauses of death and destruction. Because the devil cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have met people who have signed contracts with devils, demons. Most of the time, blood sacrifices are required. That blood is the signature in the realm of the spirit that signs that contract. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20, Paul said, But this I say, that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice not to God, but to devils. So here Paul outlines the principle. He said that, be it God, be it devils. If you want to sign a contract, you need blood. So here, if you read the whole story, Paul is actually comparing the death of Christ in the communion with how evil spirits operate. So uh, in verse 16, he said, the cup of blessing which we bless is not the communion of the blood of Christ. The bread which we break is not the communion of the body of Christ. So he's actually comparing how things work in the church to how things work in the occult. So he said that in the church, you have a contract with God that he will be your father and that when you die, he will take you to heaven and he will protect you and he will bless you. But what makes this contract possible is because Christ shed his blood for you and that blood that was shed was the signature that ratified the contract. So here he says that in the occult too, the same thing happens. I remember once, gentleman came to see us. This man, he was looking for money. And his friend said, well, I'll take you to somebody who can help you. So they traveled and they went into some bush somewhere. And then this man in the occult came. And the man said to him that, for you to have money, you have to sacrifice something. So what the man was telling was that, we need blood before we can sign this contract. Then the man said to him, if you look into this water, somebody's image will appear in the water. That the person you're supposed to sacrifice. So the man looked into the thing and he saw his son in the water. And he was afraid. So he told the man that, listen, I've changed my mind. I cannot sacrifice my son. Then the juju man said, well, the way you have looked into the calabash, the gods need blood by all means. So now you are the one who is going to replace your son. So that was when he came to our church. So I said to him, listen, I'm going to pray for you. I know that the blood of Jesus 
is greater than any of blood. And God will save you. So uh, we prayed for a while, laid hands on him, everything, told the man, look, now he gave his life to Christ. And I told him, now that you have given your life to Christ, you have signed a new contract. Well, the man was so scared, he said he was not going to go home. He was going to sit in front of my office. Can you imagine this man stayed in the church? The following day, when I went to church, I saw him. He was still alive. And this time, he was smiling happily. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that in the spirit realm, covenants can also be signed with the devil himself as long as blood is shed. Join us same time tomorrow as Kakra continues this message. Before we leave, here is a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Blessed with the fruit of the womb. Dear Pastor, I asked you to pray for me concerning the fruit of the womb. You did, and I never stopped believing after your prayer. I write to you to testify of the goodness of the Lord, that it is now confirmed that I am pregnant. God bless you so much. For your time, you can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.